good afternoon. I'm Jeff Marshall from Atlanta, Georgia, uh, the current president of SCAI, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Ted Bass from Jacksonville. Ted? Uh, hi, Jeff. I'm Ted Bass. I'm from Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm the president-elect for SCAI starting soon. So I just wanted to recount for everybody what a productive and uh, fun year it's been this year for Sky. I think we've done a number of interesting things. And I think we've done some things that show the real value of being an FSCAI or a member of Sky uh, to each of you. Uh, some real highlights, actually. We started a PAC. Uh, we opened our own uh, office in uh, the business district in Washington, D.C. And we've done a lot of great advocacy things this year. Uh, we have been involved on Capitol Hill um, with Wayne uh, Powell and Don Hopkins, making sure that the hard work you do is reimbursed appropriately uh, and to the best of uh, our ability uh, for angioplasty and, uh, and catheterizations. In addition, it's been a great year for highlighting quality of life. Uh, our patients really do feel that when we perform an angioplasty that their quality of life is improved. Uh, more than half of them after an angioplasty in a survey we commissioned are actually angina free. And 80 percent of patients actually feel like their quality of life is markedly improved. So the work we're doing is being recognized by our patients and I think that's reassuring. So quality has kind of been the mantra and I know that Dr. Bass has some ideas for next year. Yeah, thank you, Jeff. So just staying on the uh, it, it, next year plans, or it looks like it's going to be a very exciting year for us. We have a lot of plans to continue some of the things that Jeff has been working on and been started the last several years, the quality initiative. And we think this is important because it will kind of help our members navigate their careers and best serve their patients in, in the next, during the next decade or so. So we've put a lot of energy, resources, and, and we've put together a, a great package in terms of bringing Sky and Sky membership into the quality field. Uh, such things as expanding on the current SkyKit program, which has now been part of us for since 2011. We're going to begin to measure, organize ourselves to measure outcomes in terms of some of the process and, 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 and some of the suggestions that we've made and some of the tools that we've provided in terms of developing quality on a cath lab basis. So that should be very exciting as we move into these new fields. We also realize that pursuing a personal commitment to quality in terms of the physician or the provider level being committed to quality is an important thing that we can add to the interventionalist uh, tool bag over the next several years. So we, we have a program organized that helps physicians navigate some of the regulatory and some of the quality and some of the certification and mandates that will be coming down the road and hopefully will help steer them through these very important times and in the end we'll be delivering very good care and very high quality care to our patients. And finally we're developing, or in the early stages of developing, a cath lab director quality initiative which will help provide tools for cath lab directors and hopefully those who work in the cath lab, which are all of us, to better apply their skills in a more meaningful and better uh, uh, way with better outcomes for our patients. So we have a lot going on there. Jeff? Yeah, it's fascinating. And uh, uh, that boot camp thing is something that I think that's never really been done before. In fact, that and the personal commitment are basically brand new ideas that uh, the leadership came up with along with some industry partners, which I think is a fascinating new model for us to kind of move forward over the next few decades, especially in these times when, quite frankly, Affordable Care Act and all those things are going to be difficult for all of us. But I think if we stick together, uh, this society is certainly well poised to help guide our members uh, over the next few years, as you said. I agree with you. And I'm proud to be part of this process. And I know you are because you've been a leader in this process. But we are really the first professional group to kind of get in front of the changes and take ownership of the changes and to help our membership adjust to them and get their valuable input on how we should be addressing these optimally, both from a patient care standpoint and from a physician standpoint. So I'm, I find it very exciting that we are not reacting, but we are proactively getting in front of things so we'll be able to nav navigate. What will be, I think, a challenging time 
but also prevent, present great opportunities for us to go in the right direction. So I'm, I'm very excited. I know you are too. Yeah, me too. And I think the great thing about Sky really is that you don't need an invitation. Uh, show up at the committees. Come join us because basically we need all the new ideas. A lot of our best ideas have come from young or mid-career folks that have had an idea that we never had. And those things sometimes have blossomed into some of our most interesting things. The ELM program, for instance. Really, really happy to be a FSCAI, and uh, I know that I know that our society is in great hands with you taking over, Ted. Well, thank you. And this meeting, I think, will showcase not only the theory of what we're doing, but that we have action on this. So I, I encourage all the members to participate in some of the initiatives. The quality track will show some of this. And, and some of the tools that we're coming out with. So it's a very exciting time to be a member of Sky. I would be nowhere else, and, and we're pleased that you're joining us. Yep.